Yes, it's Shona Ralu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we... What the hell is that? Do you see the freaking computer thing right beside the freaking professor? It almost looked like either a Pikachu or a Meowth. Anyways, on the last episode, we actually came across into this uh, place right here in uh, uh, where uh, the guy in the Mount Battle wanted us to go. And uh, we battled a lot of trainers, and we also found our. We also got another Shadow Pokemon, Spinarak. So we also evolved uh, e uh, Eevee into Jolteon. So now we're going to continue this on. Ugh. That's uh, kind of gross. Wow. Such a harsh word about that woman or a girl or whatever she is. She doesn't look like a woman. She looks like a fucking little child. Why is she even doing this exactly? And ah! I really do. But it's not even a shadow Pokemon, sadly enough. So, sorry, Ralts. You can never be missed. <laughs> wow, I sound so heartless. Okay, Bagon! So, um... What else can I tell you guys? know for sure, but uh, 
I do. I always. This game is so interesting. I mean, I have been watching Jenga Carnivore playing these games for a while, and uh, so far, I I am actually enjoying this game. There are so many games I never even tried out before. Certain ones I didn't even know. Okay, new mole. And Numel is a shadow Pokemon. Alrighty. So you're gonna use Bite. This is gonna hurt. And eh, not particularly. Okay, so. I okay, so, uh. Really, 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 really do not wanna kill Numel. So I'm gonna use a fire move. And I'm gonna use you to against that freaking Bagon. Okay, hopefully I don't kill him, because I know he's a partly a ground and uh, fire type, so Ember will not do very much damage on it, and that's going to hurt me! Ugh. And you're going to use Rage. Oh, no! No, not my Houndoom! What the fuck, man? Okay, so... Take him down, take him down. Yeah! Bagon has no use on freaking. I uh, love it. Okay, so, um. Let's use Ember. And better yet, let's use the last quick. Uh, last quick ball. No. Last great ball. Maybe if I'm lucky. One, two, nope, nope, I knew that was going to happen, I knew that was going to happen, okay, can I lower him down, okay, just a little bit at a time, alrighty, um, these shadow Pokemon incidents, it's becoming very more interesting, and, uh, if you guys are thinking, uh, I heard that you've been doing your stories, what kind of stories do you actually do? Oh, I got, I kind of do plenty of them. It's also about, like, uh, like, most of my stories are actually, like, about, uh, Pokemon along with Digimon. And I'm not saying in separately, I'm saying all together. And you... I'm saying that all together. And, uh, it makes total sense to actually do that, right? Because there's nobody I ever knew that actually is able to do that. Nothing I actually remember of. And you're gonna hit... Ugh, feel. I still gotta go heal. Okay, so let's, uh, use another Ember. And then maybe if I'm lucky, I can capture it. So, uh, yeah, I've been actually, like, making up my own stories as long as I go, and I create, uh, stories that has both Digimon and Pokemon all together. And, uh, yeah, it's gone really well, and I really am happy about that. Yes! So, I really do love making my own stories. And there's a lot of people that are so interested about that. And, um... There has been a time that people were also asking me random questions... That even I have no answer. So I'm going to be right back and I'm going to go freaking heal. Alright, I'm back. So, yeah, that was a little bit tough about, like, uh, battling against Shadow Pokemon. Okay, next elevator down. Hmm. So there's another elevator. And we have another trainer. Alrighty. So, we're going to be battling against another trainer here. And what do we get? We get Snow Runt. And we get Barboach. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay, so none of them are Shadow Pokemon. So, that's pretty much okay. So, anyways, back to what I was talking about in my stories. Um, not only I do Pokemon stories, but apparently when I was sleeping, I was also having, like, some kind of dream that actually has another new ways of stories. And there's certain ones I actually uh, love to make. And it makes perfect sense. But, yeah, there's a lot of people that ask me random questions that uh, even sometimes I got no answers for that one. 
I'm not kidding you. I kind of got no answers. And especially when I was actually telling the stories of one of the teacher's assistants called IAs, obviously, but I don't remember the specific word of IA. And um, she loves to hear my stories a lot. So I told her all about my stories, and then uh, there's most of them that actually made her cry. And I swear to God to you, I was laughing my ass off, and she was starting to tear up, and she tried not to so hard, and uh, freaking tried to, like, um, you know, wipe away all her tears and such. And uh, when I asked her, do you want me to stop right there? And she's like, no, no, keep going, keep going. I want to listen to more. And what do you got? Oh, you got charcoal. Awesome. Um, I'm going to switch out uh, Fampy, uh, Fampy, no, uh, Sveal to my Teddy Ursa. So, um, okay, there's another Sierra Lines. So, um, so yeah, she started like crying and I laughed my ass off and I'm like, do you want me to stop? And she's like, no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. So I kept on going and I'm trying so hard not to laugh while telling her my stories. And after school, when I came back home and I told my mom the whole story and I told her this, mom, you're not going to believe this, but I made a teacher cry. And then my mom yelled at me, you made what? So I tried so hard not to laugh. I'm like, it's not what you think. Let me explain. So she started laughing so, her, so hard that she thought it was funny. And uh, I just couldn't help but laugh because I never thought I would actually make a teacher cry. I am not kidding you guys. It was very funny as hell. And I find that extremely fucking hilarious. So, yeah, it's just one of those times that I never even thought that I would actually make a teacher or a teacher's assistant cry. So, I... <laughs> it just... It, it's so funny to me. There may be some of you guys saying, well, that's just cruel. Not necessarily. It's very funny. Okay, so, back to the game. So, Corsola... Ugh, it's a very interesting Pokemon. It's supposed to be like a coral Pokemon, but um, I still think it's cute. Too bad Corsola is actually not a really good fighter. However, I did actually see uh, uh, the Pokemon episodes, uh, how Misty got herself a Corsola. And I find that so fucking awesome. Like, she always wanted a Corsola so badly. And I totally understand about that. Corsola is a very, very cute Pokemon. But it's not very good in battles. So, it's really quite a shame. Like, why can't Corsola be good in, like, freaking battles? Rather than just being all cutie-like. Okay, so... We, uh, defeated that man here. Alrighty. Boing! Why would you do that? doing it anyways that makes no sense dude that makes no sense ah but whatever yeah sometimes people can be fucking royal idiots you know alrighty oh uh, let's see here uh, no 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 okay so I'm just really interested about these kind of games you know and if you guys are thinking, well, do you ever play anything but Pokemon games? No. No, not really. 
I don't play anything else but Pokemon games. Even my, even my fiance want me to play other things than Pokemon. And I told him I don't want to because Pokemon is mainly all the things I know. It's really quite simple and easy to me, you know? But uh, any other ways, I don't like to play any other any other games besides Pokemon. And there's, there's a reason why for that one. Since I grew up in Pokemon games for a long time, and uh, I try to understand what I need to do, and uh, rather than forcing myself to do. And back then when I was a kid, I never actually got into very good reading, so I just do it instinctively, and just freaking, um, just freaking, like, uh, continue on the game without reading. And just find a Pokemon that's suitable for the team. That's all I ever do. It's not that difficult. And sometimes if you played it more than one time, and you see, it seems like it's been very, 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 very easy. So, it's just one of those times I thought maybe um, playing these kind of Pokemon games kind of makes it simple to me. So, yeah, I'd rather play Pokemon games rather than freaking, um, rather than freaking other, any other games. And, uh, there has been certain things I do want to play, like maybe Zelda games. I do, I'm not a big fan of Zelda, but, uh, I do love watching other people play it, though. It's, uh, one of the things I actually, i rather actually watch other people play Zelda games. Because sometimes I'm still afraid about, like, dying so much. And then it just makes you repeat it all, all over the dungeon again, you know? And in order to, like, uh, be a whole bunch of bad guys and then earn some more hearts. Yeah, it's just one of those times that i rather actually play Pokemon games than others. Well, I'm sorry, sirs. You look like twins. Okay, so we got ourselves a great ball. So I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't think, I don't feel like uh, going back to heal. So what I'm gonna do is actually just use uh, my super potion. Eh, no, I did not mean to do that. Where did the freaking? Okay, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out my Pokemon again because it looks like they're all in the twenties. And I'm going to have, uh, like that. Okay, so they're all in their 20s, which is freaking awesome. Uh, we can go to this one. I guess it wouldn't even matter which one you're going to go to first, you know? And I feel like, okay, there's another trainer. So many fucking trainers uh, today. I'm actually kind of happy about that because uh, the more you get trainers, the more you actually level up, which is freaking awesome. All right. Hello, Jotion. And we have a Shadow Pokemon, which is a Carvana. Okay, so I'm uh, going to use a Bite on you. And I'm going to use a Roar Beam on you. Now, hopefully, I don't actually kill Carvana. Uh, mm. uh, rough skin. Ah, you flinched. Oh, this is going to hurt. Uh. I wonder, can Jolteon even have, like, a, the ability called Lightning Rod? I don't know if it's only on this game, but it would be a possibility. Okay, so let's uh, use it again. And I missed! Of course! Of course I would fucking miss! Jesus Christ! Zapdos, Zap really? No! Jolteon and... Ew! Ow! Oh, come on! Okay, so, uh, let's tackle you, and let's, uh, heal, uh, Spiel, because I don't want to get her down yet. Okay. So, maybe if I can tackle him? Yes! Oh, 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 oh my god! Holy shit! Uh, dude, I wasn't even planning on escaping! 
you fucker! Oh my goodness. And what? What? Why would you use tackle? Okay, so let's uh let's freaking use a Pokeball on uh, Sir Carvana and uh, attack Man uh, Magnemite. Okay, so what I was saying about Zelda games, I I'm not really a big fan of Zelda, and I don't really want to play it to be honest. But I do kind of like watching people play it some other time, you know? Like, I, I kind of like watching my sister play it so that she knows what to do with it. And then I know that there's Shaka Kalari playing it. So, yeah, there are certain things I do not mind about other people playing Zelda games. And trust me, I don't really want to be part of it, okay? I, I'm just, I'm kind of weirded out about that. I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, we defeated Magnemite, and we also got ourselves a Carvana. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, possum. And how many fucking Pokemon do you fucking need? Jesus Christ! I should have used Body Slam. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I don't mind watching other people play um, other uh, Zelda games. That's just me. So... I, I'm just kind of weirded out about that. So, I'd rather play Pokemon. That's about all. Okay, so... Uh, that's not going to finish him off. Okay, so... Sadly enough, Psyduck is not really a Psychic-type Pokemon, but I do wish that, um... That Golduck is actually Psychic, since it knows how to use fucking Psychic moves, and it's not even Psychic! Even it's Pearls on its head is actually psychic. Ugh. Like, I know you guys get the feeling for what I'm saying, right? You guys get it. And there's never once a freaking person who actually decided to have uh, Gold Duck into a psychic type. Ay. Ay, caramba. All right. So we got ourselves a uh, Carvana. So, I think we're going to end off the video right here, guys. So, in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day.